Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's a Card for That.ca and today I'm going to be making the next in my Happy Holidays 2018 um, Christmas series. Um, this time I'm going to be using my favorite things Jingle All the Way stamp set. This one came out a couple years ago and it was impossible for me to get it. <laughs> Um, I never talked about that with another stamp set from a while ago because nobody thinks about buying Christmas sets in the summer, but I actually had to purchase this one in May because every time I went to go make an order, this one and the cute one with the elves, um, they were sold out every time. So <laughs> this has been sitting in my, in my not used yet stash pile. We all have one of those, right? Um, since May <laughs> and it's November. <laughs> So I'm very excited to get to use this. Uh, to save some time, I did my die cutting before the video. Uh, the panel piece that I'm going to be using here, the white panel, is cut with the largest of the small stitched rectangles from Lawn Fawn. And then I cut a piece of white glitter paper from Simon Says Stamp with one of the Lawn Fawn stitched hillside borders um, because I couldn't have my Santa standing on the middle of nothing even though he kind of is like when you look at the card obviously because he's all popped up it's going to be there so I'm using some distressed inks in peacock feathers salty ocean and faded jeans just to create my background and I don't know if you've noticed but the coloring is much more sped up so I do all of my editing um, right on my phone. I film with my phone, I edit with my phone, and then I just upload to YouTube and it's good to go. Um, even this voiceover, we're talking into my phone right now. And the app that I use only allows you to go twice the speed, which when you have a whole lot of images can still take a really long time. Like if it takes you half an hour to color an image and you cut it down to half, like twice the speed, that's still 15 minutes of video time where you're watching me color, and I think you get the gist of it. Like all my colors are across the bottom of the screen and you're probably like, okay, Trina, let's get a move on this, hey. So I did some searching and found that if I completely edit my video without the voiceover, save it back to my phone and then reopen it as a new project, I can take additional sections and speed them up again. So this is very exciting for me. <laughs> and I'm sure it will be for you too, because now we're not gonna be sitting here through 17, 18, 22 minutes of my videos. I can cut them down and hopefully I will get some additional views. I know a long craft video can be intimidating for somebody who's like, yeah, I just, I just wanna see the video and I don't know why you're talking for 17 minutes. And sometimes I run out of things to say, which is kind of shocking, right? Because it doesn't really sound like that. I can just talk and talk and talk. And for the most part, I do. Uh, so I had stamped all of the images on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock, same white cardstock I use in all of my videos and all of my cards with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and we're coloring it in with Copics and again the colors are right along the bottom of the screen and look at how fast I'm coloring. <laughs> this is so exciting for me. I cannot even tell you. Um, I learned how to Copic color watching YouTube videos so I think I color faster than I used to. I mean, it's practice, right? Um, but now it's just like whoosh, and we're almost done. It's so exciting. <laughs> anyway, um, I then cut out all of the images with my brother to scan and cut. Uh, I don't have coordinating dies. I don't get them because I have the brother to. Um, it's not that I don't want them. I think like the dies that I do have for the sets before I got the scan and cut, um, I still use them. And I really like them and I like the way they look. It's just, for me, it was a toss up between spending all of that extra money on dies for stamps that I had to avoid fussy cutting or being able to buy more stamps. So you do you. Um, oh, also I colored three extra trees off screen because they're colored the exact same way and you didn't need to see that. Uh, so here I'm going in with my Marvy Snow Marker. Now, if you haven't tried this thing, it is brilliant. It is so wonderful. Mine is super gushy. So I ponce it out onto an acrylic block and then I just use a really old paintbrush. Like don't use a good paintbrush because there's no coming back from it. And I just paint it on where I want it. 
um, in this case on his little pom-pom and the brim of his cap so that I would get some good texture in there. And then I'm going to put my panel back into the Misty and I'm going to white heat emboss the greeting which says you're on the nice list which I thought was fun because the Santa I'm using looks super excited and then at the end when you see him wobble you'll see how even more excited he is and it totally looks like he's pointing at it so it just kind of all fell into place it was very exciting for me um I did not use Bristol for the distress ink blending and looking back I really wish that I would have um see here you go look at how fun that is I even zoomed in for you <laughs> You shouldn't get this marker. I've had it for three years. It's still going strong. It's great. Um, anyway, the Bristol Smooth allows you to blend so much better. Um, this one, you can still see stuff. I wasn't super worried about it because there's a lot of things that are going to be in the foreground and cover like the blend lines. I just wanted some, some color in the background, um, make it feel cold and wintry, but like night sky kind of deal. Um, but with Bristol Smooth, you'll get a much smoother blend, especially when using the original distress inks which I used here um, my distress oxide ink collection is growing quickly let me tell you um, but I don't have all of them yet and they kind of when they dry they pull back and they're very chalky and they're very light unless you have that distress glaze stuff um, which I do have but you can't heat emboss over that because it just stays tacky <laughs> unless I'm doing something wrong and maybe I am if I'm doing something wrong let me know in the comments because I would love to be able to emboss over that or maybe I should just emboss first and then add that stuff I don't even know so I sat for a second here thinking about um a, a layering layer <laughs> right and I went with green because there's going to be red on the trees and there's red in the collar from the reindeer and there's red on Santa so red was kind of spread out but green was like all clustered over on the right and I thought if I used a green matte layer it would kind of pull it out but I don't like the green <laughs> I should have used like a darker emerald glitter card stock I just used a piece of green that was like within reach and I'm not as happy as I could be with it like the card's still cute it's great I'm still gonna give it to a family member you know come Christmas but um, I'm not as happy with it as I could be so now we're going to add a little auction action wobbler which is so fun it's just sticky and it's on this plastic little springy thing and when you squish him down um, he still goes in an envelope there's no extra postage that I've ever encountered but he like pops right up and then you can wiggle him and it's so flippin cute <laughs> and like he's so excited that you're on the good list right like woohoo look at him look at him there he goes and then of course me being me I'm like we need embellishments <laughs> so I'm going to start with clear wink of Stella on the bells around his buckle and the stars of the tree and then Rudolph's nose but you're not going to notice Rudolph's nose because we're actually going to cover him with uh, Nouveau drops later on which I have so many of and I don't really use and I should I'm not sure why I don't I think it's because I have them like tucked away um but my collection is is vast and all-encompassing not all-encompassing I don't have all of them I have clothes um and then I added so the Nouveau drops I added are crystal drops in autumn red for his nose and then I find if I just give that a couple taps it like gets rid of that like ice cream loop at the top you know what I'm talking about and uh, smooths it out to look like an actual enamel dot and then I was like you know I already put glossy accents on some stuff so I think I'm gonna add some decorations to the tree and because I wanted to pull the red right across the card so Nuvo drops went on there too like <laughs> nothing's safe when it comes to embellishments um, and that is basically going to be our card for today. Like, look at him go. He's so excited that you're on the nice list. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you're as excited as I am that uh, this is going much faster. Please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. My link to my blog and my Facebook post will be down below. Have a great day. Bye.